What is going on guys, Waf here bringing you another little Slayer guide, this time we have Dark Beasts. Uh, Dark Beasts require 90 Slayer to kill, and you also have to have completed Morning's End Part 1, and at least started Morning's End Part 2, but I would definitely recommend completing Morning's End Part 2, simply because you get this nifty little teleport, and uh, it saves you a lot of inventory space, a lot of time actually getting there. Now if you don't have this teleport, Again, please get it. It's very, very helpful if you're going for high levels in Slayer, since this task is very common and very good. Um, but if you don't have the teleport, you have to come in from West Arjunag, go through the Mourner HQ, grab a key out of a chest over there. You have to have all the Mourner inventory or all the Mourner gear on, uh, take off all of your other stuff, and then you can come through here and you're wasting all your inventory space, and it'll take you like two trips to finish the task. Um, now, originally. Duradel does assign like six dark beasts, so um, definitely get the perk that gives you more slayer or more tasks, more eh, more dark beasts in your task. There we go. I can speak English, but um, so once you actually get down here, um, I would recommend canning them if you can. Um, but if not, this is very good melee experience now, where you can just wear prayer gear and piety them, uh, just fill up your entire inventory with prayer potions, bring two or three supersets and you will be good to go. They're very good melee experience, they are always aggressive, so if you uh, really want to AFK, there's absolutely nothing wrong with meleeing these uh, without a cannon. But um, for an actual cannon spot, uh, pretty much any of the rooms, are they're all just filled to the brim with Dark Beasts. You can see somebody's already in there. That room is always crowded. Um, honestly, the best cannon spot I have found, actually I didn't find this, Alkin did back uh, when 07, when he first got 90 Slayer. So all credit goes to Alkin, I guess, for finding this spot, but um, I've just notice that this spot tends to work the best. So basically from this wall, uh, you just want to go over four spaces. Or five spaces. Yeah, five spaces uh, from this wall, I believe. So uh, if I'm wrong, then I will go ahead and re-record this, but I believe this is the spot. Um, and really with this spot, you just stand in the northeast corner and uh, you tend to hit them very well. Um... You do need to watch out, maybe bring a shark or two if you don't have a Saradome and God Sword, because if your cannon attacks them and they're very far away, they will uh, hit you with magic, and uh, that can get kind of annoying because it does lower your health, and if you don't have a Saradome and God Sword, they do drop shark sharks very commonly, so once you get farther into the trip, you can just keep healing off of that, but uh, other than that, this is a very simple task. It's an incredibly good experience an hour. If you're meleeing them, you're probably going to get 120k experience an hour in melee stats, honestly. And um, if you're cannoning them, it's around 38 to 40k an hour in Slayer, which is very good for being a task so long. And um, you do get a lot of experience. As you can see, they have a ton of HP, and you get about 120 of them. So uh, it's a very good task. Never skip these. You do uh, pretty much make up all your money that you use from... Rune Drops, Death Talismans, Dark Bows, all that stuff. I personally have not had a Dark Bow yet, actually, because I'm me. But, uh, yeah, if you uh, if you want a good task, definitely get this. Um, like I said, 90 Slayer is when I would recommend switching over to Duradel, just because he gives Dark Beasts more commonly than Neve. Like, that's one of the main reasons that I would say you should go with Duradel over Neve. Um, and just the fact of longer tasks and style points, you know. Uh, I'll probably make a full guide on that later, but um, yeah, this is Dark Beast for you. Uh, I'm sorry, sick nerd, but I think this spot is probably better than the spot over there, because they're just simply because there's less Dark Beast. Uh, in the other room, there's a crap ton of Dark Beast, so every once in a while the Dark Beast will get in the way of the cannon, or you'll hit one that's really far away, and uh, yeah. Plus this spot's right next to a rune rock, and it looks really freaking cool. Anyway, hopefully you guys did find this useful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, and remember to check the description for all the cannon spots that I've found so far in old school. And if you do have a monster that you would uh, like to kind of see first, I have a lot of them recorded, so just uh, let me know which ones you would kind of want to be a priority. See, this is what uh, I'm talking about with the magic attack. So basically just kill the one that your cannon attacked uh, when it hits you with magic, and then move back to the spot once it's dead, and you should be fine. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, pretty much if you put your cannon here, stand in the northeast corner, you get a double hit almost every time. So um, it's a very, very simple task and very awesome task. And again, one of the few tasks that I would say don't, you don't need a cannon for it if you just want to get straight melee experience. Because overall, this is a very good training spot even for melee if you, like, I don't know, are going for 200 mil combat stats and not training Slayer for whatever reason. Then yeah. But anyway, uh, I've rambled on long enough. 
Uh, hopefully this guide did help you guys, and I will uh, talk to you later. Peace.